Next question is from Cool Hand Moran. Can you please go over the pullover movement? There are so many angles to hit it from, resistance curves, and muscles involved depending on how you attack it. The pullover has to be one of the more underrated upper body exercises. Even today, uh, that's out there. Now, we include pullovers in most MAPS programs because mm -hmm. we know this. Uh, I think it's a phenomenal exercise, and there's very few movements that work that motion, that overhead to the front kind of motion. By the way, that's a natural uh, human movement. Humans do a few things very well um, naturally. One of them is to throw with accuracy. We do that better than any other animal. So that overhead to the front you know, kind of motion is something that we should be able to perform. And a pullover is a loaded form of that. In fact, back in the day, uh, pullovers were considered a staple strength As exercise. As you say, wouldn't people like tout how much they can actually yeah, do? 300 yeah, 300-pound you know, barbell pullovers yeah. or whatever was a big thing. The muscles involved with the pullover are the, the, the lats um, and the chest. So you're actually going to work both the lats. So it's one of the few exercises that works both the lats and the chest. In my opinion, it's more of a lat exercise than yes. a chest exercise. Mm -hmm. um, triceps are stabilizing. It's good for shoulder mobility, develops a nice rib cage. You get good uh, serratus development. Those are the finger-like muscles under the armpits when you get real lean. Your that, gills. The gills, uh, right? Yeah. So that's all good stuff. You can perform it with a dumbbell or a barbell across a bench, on a bench. You can do it with cables. My favorite versions of pullovers are typically with a dumbbell because a barbell requires more skill to perform. You have to be able to lock your arm into position to perform the, the pullover with the barbell more so than with a dumbbell. And you can do it on a bench. If you do it on a bench, you're not going to get as much of a rib cage stretch. If you do it across a bench where your upper back is on the bench, your feet are down in front of you and you drop your hips as you go back, you're going to get this big stretch um, in the rib cage. I love the machine for this too. Oh, the, every once in a while, my favorite can, machine. Oh, when you can find it in a gym, it's like it's for sure thrown in my routine. The Nautilus one, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One I, of my favorites. I love, I love pullovers. No, I think it's, a, I think it's one of the more under, uh, underrated movements that's out there for sure. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, it's hard to, it's hard to attack. You know, the lats with with something like that. You know, like and to get it from that angle. And I think it's such a functional strength movement to incorporate. As yeah, well. and if you want to isolate the lats, really the only way to isolate it with a cable is one of my favorite ways to do it. So like a a rope, straight arm uh, pull down, uh, which is like a pullover, and you get that lat squeeze. If you have trouble connecting to your lats, which a lot of people do, try starting your workout with that, and then go to your pull downs and your rows, and you should be able to feel like you're connecting more uh, to the lats. You should be able to feel a pump there. 